Hey guys. I just thought I'd make a video for absolutely no reason whatsoever, but I'm just going to show you some little plans that I got here for uh, building a uh, off-road lawnmower out of this vintage Craftsman that I have. So, this here first picture is, uh, that's what I drew over there, Vintage Craftsman. Um, so, let's just show you what's going on here. You're gonna have the front tires, gonna cut them out with the tire tread all the way around. Um, gonna build a beefy bump bumper on the front there. It's gonna just come out right off the front of it there, right off the main front piece. Um, gonna put little headlights down there from Prince's Auto, which is store in Canada. Um, this here is going to be a twin, hopefully a twin, with uh, header pipes just a little bit straight out there. Um, yeah, okay, and for the rear tires, just to make this clear, these are going to be the stock tires, but you're going to get the chisel, heat it up with a blowtorch, and go around it and make a pattern, preferably straight across, and then these here front ones are just going to be one, two, three, which you can see right down there. One, two, three. Tread sticking out so you can steer because it's going to be, I'm going to weld it. It's going to be locked if. I'm going to also build a little beefy bumper on the back there so if somebody rams into you, you know you're safe. Got uh, going to do this out of garden edging to make a uh, mud flap so that when the mud's spinning, you're going to be protected. Uh, let me see, so, uh, the whole thing's going to be painted kind of camo green color, the wheels will be black, the front grill part will be black, this year, um, uh, little grill thing on the top there will be black, I'm going to build a little battery mount support to keep it in there solid, um, probably build some skid plates, something underneath, um, oh, it's going to have toe hooks on the bumpers. Um, this one here is a little bit crazy, but you can see that'll be the header on this side. This here would be the other side. Going to have a gas pedal, brake bike, pay cable running into the front of the motor for the uh, gas pedal. It might be ungoverned, or it might be just modified, tweaked, governed. Um, on this side here, this is your brakes. Um, that's naturally there on the tractor, but if you look back on this one, this here is the, uh, this here is custom, because this transmission actually shifts down here. But, uh, I'm gonna cut it out, and I'm gonna weld up this here ge sh gear shifter for the side. Um, okay, let's see. This is the front of it, looking just on, you're gonna have big bumper on there, the wheels like that. All the stuff that I said, this here part will be black. These little grill things. These these are the lights. They'll be uh, well lights. These are the original lights, but they they aren't there. So this will just be just open into the motor. And this here little part around here will be black. Uh, the bumpers will be black too. Just putting that out there. Gonna have the rear tires cut across like that. Like I said, have the bumper on there. Have it black. Probably this part in here black too. Uh, ATLTF uh, all terrain lawn tractor form. Probably get one of those stickers for the back, or else, like, uh, Fearless, do something Fearless, uh, join the Mod Squad kind of thing, Fearless Front stickers. Um, okay, here you go, here's the underside. We'll have, it will have a spicer, or else a, uh, foot transmission on there. That's kind of unfortunate, but I'm gonna take it apart and lock it, and I'm gonna just rebuild the entire thing, seal it all up really well. Um... As you can see across there, we'll have the little new flange hooked up to the shifter on the thing and running up. Have some kind of belt system like this. Going to have a, uh, I think a 4 inch on the front and uh, probably a 4 in the back. Something like that. Something around that ratio. Have the belt running into a little pulley thing there to kind of keep it nice and tight. And then this here's your clutch. Goes back and forth. Got that. Runs all the way up to the front pulley there. And this here, actually, I didn't change the plans, but this here was going to be, if it has a single cylinder, we'll have a straight pipe that goes right down and build a little resignation chamber thing there. 
And uh, if it's twin, like the plan, you'll obviously just have straight pipe. Straight pipe. Be pretty sweet. Um, so I'd say that's about it. See you guys.